Hey folks, how you been? It's good to be back. He would put people in the dungeon that were misbehaving. Stories of people being forced to bathe in the creek in the wintertime. Horrible things that you and I can't imagine. Does anyone here know a William Cage? Oh. Dude. You're kidding. That's creepy. I, it was terrifying. It actually made me feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> you all right? What, man? Oh, that was creepy. That gave me chills. Really? I've never really seen anything like that before. Was it like a mist? Whoa, 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 cat ball. <laughs> whoa. What was that? That was loud. That's crazy. Let's go look. That is crazy. It's just really tragic and really sad that so many people had to live in such horrible conditions. That's it. Ooh, sh man. That's it! All right, guys, here we are at the Greene County Poor Farm. Nowadays, it's the Greene County Historical Museum. It's been a little over a year since our last uh, official visit here. Yeah, it has been, and I remember that when we were here the first time, this was actually one of the most haunted places that we investigated in the year 2020. Are you was down that? here? Was that you? I just, all I did was say, I hope. No, after that, it sounded like a fucking hiss, man. Oh my God. Hello. Goosebumps. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I think we should walk through the place, go over the evidence that we captured and refresh ourselves on the history so we know what we can expect tonight here. Let's do it. I'm ready. When the poor farm first opened, the first edition housed um, way more people than it was supposed to. At one point, they even had people um, doubled up in beds in the attic. And um, the attic, I've been in the attic, and it only has one window at one end, so the ventilation would have been horrible. Um, you know, there's no fireplace or anything for heat in the winter. I'm sure that the summers were stifling and, and horrible up there. There's actually a report of um, inspectors coming through here and finding just piles of dirty clothing and material and tons of bugs and vermin all through it. Uh, beds, they said they could actually pick up handfuls of uh, insects and vermin as they were going through. It's just really tragic and really sad that so many people had to live in such horrible conditions. And actually, you know, this area right here, if you remember, first time we were here, remember how Matt mentioned that he, I think his first actual sighting was in this area. The only way I can describe what it looked like is if you saw fireflies in a field from a distance, just these little points of light and it, it took the shape of a human almost, and then it just gone. And this would have been the original from the 1850s into the 1860s. This would have been where they would have housed some of the first residents, the first inmates of the Greene County Poor Farm would have lived here until this became overcrowded and they expanded the building. But after that, the steward would live here. And this would have been where William Cage lived, one of the most brutal and sadistic stewards that they had. He would put people in the dungeon that were misbehaving, um, stories of people being forced to bathe in the creek in the wintertime, horrible things that you and I can't imagine going through. And he was also known to have a cane that he walked with that he would beat the inmates with. There is a man who was here that actually went to where the, the orchard was, which was also the graveyard. And he actually said that he was going to go out and I believe either pick fruit or get water and he went and hung himself. Um, this was during the time of William Cage and um, he knew that he his body was in a tree out there and decided he wasn't going to do anything about it and actually left the body there for over 24 hours. Throughout the whole building, we hear footsteps, lots of footsteps, um, but on the second floor of the West Wing, you never feel like you're alone. Um, no matter what time of day, what the weather is, you always feel like someone is there with you. 
Um, sometimes you see someone out of the corner of your, of your eye, you turn and they're not there. Um, sometimes you're walking and you hear somebody walking behind you. Um, there's just always the feeling of having someone right there with you. Now I know that we all remember this very well. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Where the women were housed on the second floor, but also where you and Steve had an experience that shocked you. Yeah, this was, this was weird. And just to, again, let everyone know again that constant ticking sound you're hearing daily. Oh my God. Hello. Goosebumps. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. At the time, I believe it was a little bit quiet. And then next thing we know, at the end of the hall, one, one side or the other, it sounded like, best I could describe, almost like slippers, like a lady's slippers. And you could just hear, Kind of like that. Constant ticking sound as you're hearing daily. Oh my god. Constant ticking sound as you're hearing daily. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man, I almost. That was so loud. That was. That was feet, man. Oh, that wow. almost made me almost. I'm like chilled right now. Yeah, I flushed me, man. That was incredible. When it happened, I still to this day don't really have an explanation for it, but it was just like a wave of something hit me. And the first thing that I reacted with was just basically I wanted to cry. You know, started welling up with tears and I didn't really know why, but I'll never forget that. That was crazy. You know, Steve and I, I mean, you could tell we were uh, uh, shocked at the very least. Also down there at the end is the gentleman's cane. Yes, that is William Cage's cane, actually. I forgot about that. Right down here at the end, they were able to actually find William Cage's cane. This would have been his cane that he used back in that time that he would deliver the beatings to some of the poor residents that lived here. And this was the same man who let, you know, somebody hang in a tree for who knows how long. Yeah. Not a very kind person. No sort of empathy no. at all. Hard to say what types of energy is just attached to that by itself. Right. Probably my scariest experience that I ever had here, I had come in early to get ready for an event that we were having. And I was sitting in the main hallway and um, I heard coming from uh, this wing of the building, the west wing, it sounded like a door creaking open. I thought it was, you know, a little creepy. I, I stopped and I listened and then I went about my business and not even two minutes later, it sounded like a, a small boy and clear as, clear as day. I heard mom and it, it was silent after that, but I, it was terrifying. It actually made me feel sick to my stomach and I was very glad when other employees showed up and I was not here by myself. <laughs> This room right here, which is now the railroad room, looks a lot different than it did the first time we were here. Like we said, they've done a lot to create these displays of historical items for the museum. This was an empty room when we were here, but Matt told us that inside this room was where they believed they would keep some of the disorderly inmates or residents. There were big grates with iron bars that covered these windows and the doors were caged up with iron as well. So we don't know quite why you would have ended up in this room, but it probably somewhere you wouldn't want to be. And I think this window still has the chicken wire glass in it. Yes, yes it does. Yeah. But I think the real punishment area is downstairs in the dungeon, and I think it'd be interesting to walk down there next. Let's do it. They would be beat, or also they would be chained um, in the, the basement, which is called the dungeon area, when they made him angry or didn't do something he wanted them to do. The dungeon is um, very primitive, cold, unwelcoming, dank, um, dirt floors. There's some concrete floors now, stone walls. Um, and we do know there are places where you can see that there were restraints in the wall and there is actually still one anchor in an area down there where restraints would have been to keep someone from getting away. Yep, this is it. After all these years, the anchor is still there. 
and again, it goes back to, it's hard to say what is attached to that anchor or what that anchor, you know, has retained over the years. I mean, you, I mean, you imagine, again, I mean, the, the state of mind these people were in, much less the state of physical health, <clears throat> being down here shackled and then being forced to set or lay in this small amount of space. Uh, Probably sent a lot of people over the edge, I would, I would imagine. Yeah, it almost, it's not just inhumane, it's barbaric. There was a woman who was here. Um, she was brought here with her family, I believe. It was uh, her husband and her children. And she gave birth while she was here to a child. And unfortunately, the, the child did, uh, they believe, pass during the night. And they think that she decided, you know, I need to warm my child up. So she did place her child into the oven. The next morning, the smell was coming through the building and, and the inmates thought, oh, well, we're getting chicken or some kind of meat for breakfast. But unfortunately, it, it was a child. I've never experienced anything that leads me to believe that the um, energy or the spirit of the baby is there, um, but I do believe that the, the mother um, still lurks in that area. And last time we were here, Dave, when we investigated in here, we had some creepy activity. Yes, we did. Ah, what? Felt like something just put its hand, like, felt like someone just put their hand on my shoulder when I was standing in the doorway. Did you touch Ryan? Yeah. Did it say yes? Whether it was the mother, we don't know, but someone was definitely here talking to us. I do believe that this building is haunted. When I first started working here, I was skeptical. I'm always skeptical and I, I thought, oh, they're they're building this up. It, no, it's definitely haunted. Well, we've refamiliarized ourselves with the place. You guys ready to get abandonment set up and see what we can capture here again? Let's do it. We know it's haunted. We know there's paranormal activity. Let's try and talk to someone again.
This is the area that Rebecca said she heard the little little boy's voice, the giggle. Mm hmm. Say mom or mommy. Yeah. And clear as clear as day, I heard mom. And it, it was silent after that, but I, it was terrifying. It actually made me feel sick to my stomach. Is there someone here with us? My name is Ryan, this is Jason, and down there at the other end of the hallway, that's Dave. For about another 30 minutes, it's still my birthday. Decided that I was gonna come and see you on my birthday. See if anyone here wanted to talk. Stationed throughout this hallway here, we have lots of different lights that you can touch and make, they'll make sounds. Would someone like to come down here and wish Ryan a happy birthday? You wouldn't have to even speak to him and if you didn't want to, if you just knocked on the door, or made a noise that we could hear. Does anyone here know a William Cage? Oh! Dude. You're kidding. That's creepy. So you do know him, huh? Could you come closer to us, please? Just take a step over this way. Whew. That's weird. Mr. Cage, is that you? Can you please make it stop? quiet the whole time. You mentioned William Cage and it alarms. Yeah, it just goes nuts. That's very weird timing. If you can hear us, we come here with respect. We mean you no harm. You may remember us from before, a little over a year ago. We just like to talk and get to meet with you. Jimmy Stewart? Are you here? Jimmy, we heard that you lived here and that it was a pretty awful experience for you. We're really sorry to hear that. Can you show us which room was yours? Unless we put this down there. Yeah, and then put the chair. Maybe put the chair right here in this doorway. Yeah. And point just, it at this. Yeah, let me just take this down here. EDI. EDI just went off. Was that you that made those lights go off right over there? Can you try and push that thing over? Hello? Strangely enough, that's where the music box is at. That's right where the music box was set up. <laughs> is that your desk right there? William Cage. 
Is that you? William Cage, if that's you, walk down this hall to the other end and set the red light off on the other end. Mr. Cage, you know that in history you're known for being unnecessarily gruesome and cruel. Allegedly, they said you're someone who abused their power and hurt people. We'd love for you to come down here to Jason and in his hand there's a little box and you can speak into it and tell us why. Why'd you do that? Seems like there's definitely someone around that's either coming and going, but they're not seemingly wanting to talk very much. Yeah. It's like they're announcing their presence in bursts, but then leaving shortly after. What was that? It's how I goes upstairs. Mm -hmm. What was that? It's how I goes upstairs. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to try upstairs? Mm-hmm. Sure. Let's do it. Where was this chair actually? Uh, in the door of the chapel. I think it's the next door down on your left. Oh, uh, that just towards the... Yeah, just kind of halfway in the doorway. Okay. <laughs> you all right? What, man? What? I heard that same noise we heard last time. Really? That pop in there? Yeah. Oh, you came right. Oh, damn. Hello? Did you not like when that chair was placed back in the doorway? Weird. We're going to go upstairs if you want to follow us up there. There's a vibe up here. I was just about to say that. Hello, if you can hear me. My name is Jason. These are my friends, Dave and Ryan. We're just here to talk with you. Would you like to talk with us? We've come a long way to talk to you. If you're here, can you light up one of these lights or It sounded to me as if it was real faint, almost like a door was just moving like half an inch. Hmm. Very faint. Whose stick is that down there on that couch? What was, what was that dude's name? William Cage. Mr. Cage has a stick down there at the end of the hallway. If you don't like that being up here and you'd like us to move it, can you make something go off? You don't have to be afraid of that anymore. Whoa. That was loud. 
I don't know what that was. I want to go look out the window just and see. Anything? Not on that side. It sounded like the first floor. It sounded like wheels. You don't have to be afraid of that anymore. What? What? You don't have to be afraid of that anymore. What? What? Yeah, like something moving. Hold on, it, I'll go downstairs and check the first it floor. It was loud. Okay. Jason, let's stay right here. Okay. That was very loud. I want to go right here so I can get all that equipment just in case. I don't know what that could have been. I don't either, man. That was weird. It almost sounded, I mean, it, yeah, that was loud. Yeah. This is a little creepy. That's for sure. Whoa. Who's down there with Dave? Can you roll that little ball down here towards us? Can you try moving it? William Cage, did you slam something down here? You won't get in trouble or anything. That's why we put them there for you. They're yours. Did you hear us upstairs talking about your stick? I'm going to turn around. And I'd love for you to roll that ball right down the hallway to me and Jason and we'll roll it back to you. I don't see anything that... It could be. Could you give us another kind of sign of your presence, please? Was that it again? Maybe. Sounds similar. What is that? I don't know what that sound was. That's me. Well, when you were down there, yeah, we heard it like two more, well, a similar sounding noise twice more. Were you like trying to recreate something? Yeah, there was a rolling chair in that room down there. Oh, go do it again. Cause we heard something almost like it, but just do it loud. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man, try it like three or four different ways and speeds and see what you can do. Okay, yeah, it's actually right in the room that was the um, pr uh, the prison-like room, the cell room. Okay. There's like a wooden rolling chair in there. Oh my God, you've gotta be kidding me. Let's see. I mean, it was, it was similar sound. It was. But apparently while I was down here, you saw on camera I moved a rolling chair. Dave and Jason said that it sounded similar, so. Move it again and see what it sounds like to them. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Yes! Dude. I think that's it. It's very similar. I almost thought it sounded like it came from more like under our feet here. Right. That sounds like it's... But we were down here a little more. That's true. Let's walk down. Yeah, this actually. Way. Keep trying it! Where were we? Right, right about in here, okay. I think. Try it a couple more times. Couple more? Yeah. That's it. That is it. 
That's it. Ooh, man. That's it. You don't have to be afraid of that anymore. Whoa. What? That's it. That's it. See, now I want to know what chair that is in which room. That's crazy. Let's go look. That is crazy. That was it. I swear that, yeah. That was it. Whatever, yeah, whatever you were doing. I'll show you. Now, I can't attest to what position the chair was in when we were down here earlier, because I never went in this room and looked, not that I know of. None of us went in there. Nah. Oh, okay. Well, that would make sense because we thought it came from down this way. Oh, oh right, right. What's oh. this chair right here? Well, let's see. So when you came in here earlier, the first time. Yes, what position was the chair in? Yeah, where was it? It was like, like that. So it wasn't like pushed under the desk? No. But it makes you wonder where he originally had it. Right. Doesn't mean it didn't slide three feet and then back a couple feet. Right, because this is what I, because I just happened to be walking around and I was trying to find any chair that would have had like wheels or something on it. And this was the last room I came in and I looked down and I said, well, there's a chair with wheels. And uh, you know, so. That was it, man. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's just way too close. Yeah, it has to be. Is that the, is that how hard you were doing it? Yes. That's crazy. Cause I, I am, I'm like 98% sure that's what it was. Unfortunately, there's no way for us to know if the chair actually moved or not because we didn't have a camera down here. We did not. Well, you know what's weird? You know what we were talking about when the noise happened. What was it? You'd asked about William Cage again and the stick. I said, oh, yeah. I said, yeah, I said, you know, you don't have to be afraid of that any longer, talking about the cane. Mm -hmm. And almost immediately when I finished saying that, that's when. That's crazy. Mm hmm. All right, so I'm getting ready to head in and check out the the room where they apparently had the uh, shackle mount still attached to the wall. They believe William Cage used to chain people up in this basement. We're going to do an Estes spirit box session. Hopefully someone will come through and talk to us. Let us know what they experienced in here. All right, I'm getting ready to start the sweep. Sweeping. Jason and I are going to be asking you all some questions tonight. And Ryan's listening to a radio in there, and you can answer our questions by talking to him. Try and use it like a microphone. Here, woman's voice. Okay. What's your name, ma'am? Can you please tell Ryan your name? Today is his birthday. Can you tell him happy birthday through the headphones? I just saw something white start on the floor here and it went right up around this wall, around the corner and into that room. Really? I've never really seen anything like that before. Was it like a mist? Whoa, 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 cat ball. Hello, is there someone here with us? Thank you for making that bright light light up like that. If that's you that is setting off this light over here and going into this room. Wow. Thank you very much. If that's you setting that off, whomever that is, can you walk right down in here? 
where our friend Ryan is and tell him what your name is? Oh, that was creepy. That gave me chills. It was a man's voice and it, oh, I don't even know what that said. That was freaky. All right, if this is the man, a male that's lighting up this ball right here, can you please go tell Ryan what your name is again? Well, whoever that was, thank you for setting that really bright light off. That was very nice of you, and now we know that you're here. What about this one right here? Can you make it go off? Do you know who William Cage is? Can you please tell Ryan, yes or no? Oh, well, thank you. I don't want to ask you to do too much, but if you can right across the other side of the hall and that door there's another one of those can you do the same thing with that can you go across and do the other one it's a man's voice again very distant not sure what he said Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to go get a new battery. Okay. Okay, so that ball just went off again. I'm gonna reposition to get give a better angle. Please go in there and speak to Ryan. If you don't feel comfortable entering that room, you can go at the other end of this hall Thank you. You can let us know like that if you would rather not enter that room. It went off one more time, just literally as you were walking at the bottom of the steps. What happened? The cat ball. Oh, really? Tonight? What about tonight? We're coming over. A man's voice, something why maybe? I can't, I, it was just very fast. It's weird that he heard why when you said we're just coming over. Yeah. Do it again. Oh, you mean you did the, you made the ball go off again. Is that what you mean? It lights up with some pretty colors, doesn't it? Can you see them there? Can you see the red, blue, and orange? A very faint woman's voice. Not really hearing anything discernible. Are you afraid to go in there and give Ryan your answers? If you are, can you light that up again for us? See, I... Dude. When you left, I started feeling more that that was why. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. Uh... We got an idea. Okay. Um, <clears throat> long story short, we're wondering if uh, trying to relocate you where you're doing this okay. into the room on the same side, two rooms down, because we have a slight idea that maybe they're uncomfortable with entering that particular room and talking. That could be. Are you getting activity out there? We got confirmation of, of that. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. 
Ryan is a nice guy. He, he doesn't mean you any harm. You'll notice that they just both walked in that room and that cat ball did not light up. Yeah, it hasn't gone off once, has it? And yet again, it's not going off, and Dave just walked past it. Okay. You asked us to have him move so you could respond better. So now, could you go in there and, and tell Ryan what your name is? thought I'd just seen something right across that doorway. I don't know. Was it white? No, it was dark. Uh... Well, well, back. That's ironic. The cat ball's going off now. Yeah. If you need help. You can go in there and tell our friend Ryan how maybe we could help you. We would be happy to do so. Can you light up the ball or respond to Ryan? Yes. There or dare, man's voice. Is he sitting in your room? Huh. Let's step down this way just a second. Yeah, that'd be... It sounds the same in here as it did in the other room. Did you just want somebody to sit in your room with you? Is that what it is? If it is, Light up that ball again. All those pretty collars. Are they listening and that's why you're not communicating with us? I shut off the suite. Okay. She decided, you know, I need to warm my child up, so she did place her child into the oven. The next morning, the smell was coming through the building, and, and the inmates thought, oh, well, we're getting chicken or some kind of meat for breakfast, but unfortunately, it, it was a child. I've never experienced anything that leads me to believe that the um, energy or the spirit of the baby is there, um, but I do believe that the, the mother um, still lurks in that area. What happened in this room here? Oh, this sounds like a woman crying. Ma'am, are you in here? standing in front of right now. Can you tell me? Is there anyone in here with us right now? Is there something in this doorway here? No. I mean, I'm can I say I am?
Can you speak loud and clearly for us, please? This is God. That was pretty clear. Cool. Yeah. Something tragic. <laughs> something tragic happened in here. And something was found in the oven right beside Ryan. What was it? William Cage, are you here with us? Or Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy, is that you? Jimmy. Jimmy, we're so sorry that William Cage was so cruel to you. Dude. I feel like something just poked me in the back of the arm. Jimmy, are you here with us now? Jimmy, can you come in here, please? Make the music stop for us so we know it's you. That's how we are going to know that you can hear us. Who's mad? Is William Cage mad? What does he want to do? Was William Cage a bad man? We thought we were talking to Jimmy. Is he still here? nearby who would like to speak to us, no matter who you are, please come speak with us. Is that Jason? I'm not sure. Yeah, you can talk to Jason. We're going to have to leave here soon, so if you want to speak to us, you better come through now for us. In my home. You don't necessarily have to stay here, but you don't. Ha you can't come with us, okay? We appreciate the communication you've given to us and the strange things that you've made happen, but you can't come home with us. We have one final question for you. We know we've said it a couple of times tonight in here. But this gentleman right over here, it is his birthday. Could somebody please wish him a happy birthday through this speaker? But it said, have a good weekend. Yeah, I heard, I heard have a good summer. 
The investigations um, are wonderful for us because they do help us um, keep this place running, keep it open. Um, we have a lot of renovation projects that are going to cost a lot of money. Um, so any investigation inquiries can be either um, gone through our email at gchs1925 at gmail.com or um, through the Facebook page. You can send us a Facebook message um, and we would certainly get back to anyone that had an inquiry. Hey folks. By now, you darn well know what to do. If you enjoyed this episode, first, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, don't forget the bell notifications, and we'll see you next time.